Hey YouTube, Atheist Vape is checking in. Today, I've got the Igo M from Yode Tech Clone. This clone came from Fast Tech. I gotta start this off by saying, I got this from my good friend Mark from the UK. I knew he was sending me an original and a clone. I forgot to check which was which. He sent me a fogger and this thing, the Igo M. Now this thing came in a nice box. The threading, everything was fantastic. It was the easiest build I've ever had. I assumed this was the legit mod that he had sent. The fogger's really nice, don't get me wrong, but I thought this was a legit RDA because it was so nicely built. Turns out I was completely wrong. Being the impatient person I am, I decided not to message my friend Mark first and just film the review, assuming it was real. Hell, the box even matched up perfect with the one that was legit. And it wasn't a super expensive RDA, so I thought, well, hmm, this is probably it. Nope, I was wrong. The legitimate one goes for 50 bucks. This one is under 20, and this is on Fast Tech. And I gotta tell you, for a Fast Tech RDA, this thing kicks ass. For any other RDA, this thing kicks ass. So as far as that goes, like everyone's you know bashed on Fast Tech all the time. Yes, they're slow, and yes, a lot of their stuff sucks. But when you find something that's good. Man, they really, really do well, and you get it for a super affordable price. So, this is one of those cases where, you know, this is something I would highly recommend ordering from them. And yes, it'll take a month, but it's so cheap. Why not? It fires up super nice. I'm running 60 watts with a .6 build on the Biohazard Box Mod, coming to Rose City Vapesters near you. This thing is kicking ass, people. It's uh, a dripper's dream for airflow. We've got six total three millimeter holes, three on each side. It's adjustable airflow. The thing is a beast. It did not come with a uh, drip tip. Uh, I just threw a 510 drip tip from another dripper. Uh, I stole it and put it on there off of my other dripper. Fire this thing up. Uh, I think we need to add a little juice here. So let's do that. I'll add some whipped vanilla Bavarian cream from Vape Hub. This stuff is really good and it's a high VG mix so it's making nice clouds. I would use this banana nut bread but it's almost gone and I gotta save it for a review otherwise I won't have any. <laughs> really really digging this company. Alright, fire this thing up. It's doing really nice. And again, this is a fast tech clone. I'm shocked by the performance. One of the easiest builds on an RDA I've ever had. Uh, another really cool thing about this, you can do dual coil builds or quad builds, okay? I did a dual coil build. I'm not quite ready to jump into that territory yet, but I will, I promise you. I will build a quad on this thing and show it off. But for right now, I just did a dual coil build. I've got the air holes basically all the way opened. Um, we'll dive up close, explain some of the uh, stuff going on, show you how easy this thing is to put together. I'm not going to do a build for you, but I will show you how to put it all together. So, yeah, I'm really digging this thing. Fires up fantastic. Highly, highly recommend it. So, uh, let's fire her up again. Oh, really digging it. All right, let's dive up close and... Uh, We'll uh, finish this out with some information about our 500 subscriber giveaway, so we'll be back. And here is our up close and personal shot. Again, it came in a really nice one-to-one uh, -one clone box here. I mean, this is a straight ripoff, people. Uh, it looks exactly like the original box. A nice viewing window. Came with extra gaskets, all that jazz, extra screws, you know, pre-built. Uh, coils and you know as far as like pre-built coils go those are some of the nicer ones I've seen uh, I'm not gonna lie very shocked uh, It's a 22 millimeter uh, mod. It's all stainless steel. I'm not exactly positive what the 510 is if it's you know nickel plated or uh, what or uh, uh, What's the other one? I'm having a brain for oh silver plated, so I'm not sure it Says designed in USA that's bullshit. Um, <clears throat> fire this thing up here. Again, the drip tip didn't come with it. It's got a nice little laser engraving. It's not rough. It's actually, you know, nice and smooth. Again, this thing is set up to do quad coils. 
Uh, I have two, you know, micro coils in there. It's firing up real nice. Um, you know, this has got a lot of room in here as far as uh, RDAs go. This is, you know, like plenty of plenty of space to work with in here. So let me get the camera to focus here. Maybe there we go. So there, the holes to put your posts are not real big. So if you go bigger than a 28 gauge, you might have some issues fitting in there. Um, you know, they're pretty small, but you do have a lot of room in here for, for coil placement. You know, it's set up really nice. Um, again, this was super easy to build. The holes to go through are just slightly higher than the walls here for your cotton. Um, you know, it's a little juiced up right now, but overall the juice stays in there pretty good. Um, you got these huge, huge, huge spaces for air holes and it's adjustable. And then on the shield itself, you've got your three, three mil, three, three millimeter air holes on each side. So a total of six air holes and it's all adjustable again. I really dig this thing. Um, it looks great on here. It's a nice little combination. I like the drip tip. Oh, fires up so nice. Oh. And that is our up close and personal with the fast tech version of the Yode Igo M RDA. Let's get back to the review. And that was our up close and personal with the Igo M fast tech clone of Yode Tech's RDA. Really digging this. Again, I was shocked that this was not only a clone, but a fast tech clone. Again, I think fast tech gets a lot of flack. Yes, their shipping is atrocious and it does take forever. Every once in a blue moon, they have some really quality clones. And, you know, I've had some good luck with them. I've had some shitty luck with them. Not everything has been outstanding from them. But this is one of those rare cases where I couldn't even tell the difference. I mean, again, obviously I haven't seen the authentic except online. But when I was doing my homework for this thing, I thought this was a legitimate RDA. Filmed my review and did it as if it was a legitimate RDA. Once Mark informed me, no, this is the Fast Tech one. Of course, I pulled it down and reshot this thing for all of you because, you know, I'm not going to leave something up that's misinformative. I don't want to put up false information about something. So anyway, apologies for those of you who did watch it. That was not an authentic, but it might as well be. So, I mean, it fires up so nice. Whew. Add a little more juice. I, uh, I really appreciate you sending this to me, Mark. This thing is fantastic. I love this thing. Um, definitely, definitely uh, a quality RDA and very shocking that this came from Fast Tech. So I, I'm very surprised. And again, the airflow is, is a dream come true for those of you who like that sort of thing. I mean, three, three millimeter holes on each side. That's crazy. <laughs> hitting so nice yeah two thumbs up from the atheist vapist highly highly suggest picking this up and again it's under twenty dollars so no excuse not to people it's a fantastic dripper and literally one of the easiest rdas to build i've come across yet the fact that you can go quad coil on this thing is fantastic so definitely pick it up i uh, want to let you all know i've got my 500 subscriber giveaway coming up it's going to be Sunday, June 1st. We announce our winners. Um, basically, I've got it all the information on my Facebook page, so you can go check that out. We're going to be giving away an MVP 2.0, three iClear 30s, three e-juices, 15 mil bottles from Rose City Vapesters, and we'll give you a complete list. And uh, that's the Facebook giveaway, and the rules include liking Rose City Vapesters' Facebook page. We also have a separate giveaway if you join Rose City Vapesters' mailing list uh, to enter to win a... Einikin iTaste VV3, which is the variable voltage Einikin that goes up to 6 volts. And uh, that's for joining the mailing list, so that's separate from the Facebook giveaway. And I also want to let you know, when we hit 1,000 subscribers, if, if timing works out well with Ben, I will be giving away the insanely powerful Biohazard Box Mod with a Stellar RDA. This thing can push 60 watts easy, no problem. It's amazing. So when we hit 1,000 subscribers, one of you lucky people is going to be getting a setup like this, except even a little nicer. You're going to get version 2.0. So anyway, stay tuned, everybody. Stay subscribed. Like my video. Share this stuff. Thank you all for watching. 
Peace and love, YouTube. I'm out.